What's up, guys? Burger back here. Um, the other day, I traded a couple Zoa frags for two mushrooms, red mushroom and a like a teal mushroom, uh, just little bitty guys. And um, I mean, I just put them in the tank. They would. The one was on a piece of rock that was like an inch, um, so I just placed that on on a rock that was in my tank. And then the other one actually attached to a small snail shell. So he's been getting blown around. My goby likes to pick him up, spit him out. Uh, he's, he's getting buried in there. So today I want to, I have a, a little piece of rock off to the side in my tank covered in coralline and everything. So we're going to attach those two guys. Um, yeah, we're going to make that a dedicated mushroom rock. So this is the process. Let me start off here by, by showing you showing the, the coral here. So there's the culprit, the little goby culprit. He likes to move everything around. He's actually a lot better about digging holes than the other guy was. But he did recently start spitting sand, like picking sand up and then spitting it out up here, which I'm not a fan of. But there's the red mushroom. And then around the corner here, getting buried is the teal one. So I'm going to grab this this rock that they're sitting on right now, pull that out, and then we're going to attach those guys to it. All right, we got the uh, frags out of the tank here. Got the rock that I pointed. Um, the thing with mushrooms, too, is you can't just glue them like zoanthids because mushrooms give off a mucus, like so much stronger than, like, like I said, like zoanthids. So the glue actually won't stick. So I'm going to, for the red one here, I'm going to leave it on this rock. But I'm just going to snip it down and then I'm going to glue that rock to this rock. So snip away here. Be careful as to not hurt the coral. I don't want all of it gone either, just a good bit so that it takes less time for the coral to cover over it. Something like that even. Still give me good surface area to glue. So boom. Like that. And we're going to go ahead and glue it on the top here. Find a flat point. There we go, that'll work. Just super glue gel. The gel works a lot better than normal super glue, I've noticed. Now, I was trying to be super liberal with the super glue here. And just give it a nice press. Maybe put a little bit around the side here just in case. Alright, that's not going anywhere. And the mushroom, these grow pretty quick, so it'll spread and then grab onto the rock itself. And then the second one, if I can show you here, is the one that's attached to a snail shell. Or a hermit crab shell, you know, whichever. There we go. <laughs> See that? So for this, I'm just going to glue the shell itself to the rock. Dry it off a little bit. All right. Once again, be kind of liberal with it. For this one, I'm just going to find a nice little crevice there. 
attach that, let it sit for two seconds. This one, the coral is still wide open, so I don't really want to press down on the coral itself. There we go. That'll look nice. And it's really just as simple as that. I'll let it sit for like two seconds. And once you place it in the water, boom, that hardens the super glue itself also. So yeah, let me get this back in the tank. And just like that, easy peasy. Wish I would have cut a little bit more of that white rock off, but it's all right. That thing should grow over it here pretty soon. And then this, uh, this teal one looks nice. That's actually my next step for corals is uh, so there's so many corals that are green. Green Monty, green bird's nest, a different green bird's nest, trumpet, Jedi mind trick Monty Pora. This is my acro. It's growing slow. You got my zoa colony. What's up, buddy? Yeah, well, the next video. All these guys are actually attached to the frag rack, so I'm going to pull that, cut those guys out, and uh, I have a rock that I'm going to attach that to to try and make a, another colony like that. Alright guys, burger out.